Hey everybody, it's Sarah McFall of MyMaryMessyLife.com and the leader of Whole Life Oils. And I want to welcome you tonight to my webinar on Discover Essential Oils, a complete beginner's guide. I'm going to go through all the basics, how essential oils are made, where they come from, how to get the best quality, how to use them, apply them, and how to the top 10 essential oils that are the most popular that people buy for their health and wellness. Um, and we're going to dive right in. So let me guys let you go. If I can talk, if I can talk, we will dive right in. Um, if you guys can let me know if you can hear and see me in the chat room, that would be great. You know, like that from that movie. And I forget the name of it right now, but it's one of my favorite movies, so I should remember it. Everyone knows that line. That that'd be great. Okay, so let me know if you can hear and see me, and then we'll get started. Because uh, it doesn't always work sometimes. Let me just make sure. Not hearing anybody just yet. Let me know if you can hear and see me. Anybody there? Should I do a tap dance? I used to tap. I can tap. Um... Not seeing very many people. Um, I'm not even sure if anybody's in yet. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and get started anyway, since this is being broadcasted live to YouTube. So if I hope it feels like I'm in your living room, hoping to hosting a class for you. During my classes, I always like to have a cup of tea. Tonight, my throat is gunky, so I have organic throat coat tea. So get out your tea and your laptop or your tablet. Sit down on your couch with a warm, comfy blanket, and let's hang out. Um, I'm so excited to share with you tonight my passion of our alternative health and wellness because it has been so empowering to be able to take back the life of um, the health of not just me. Oh, hi, Joan. Um, but also the health of my children and family. We have been so blessed by these little bottles and the way that they have supported our bodies and health and and how it's enabled our bodies and my family to be able to take care of themselves. We stay a lot healthier, a lot stronger now that we use essential oils on a daily basis. I like to call them the tools in my mommy tool belt. When things go awry, I always have a weapon to pull out and, and uh, conquer the beast. So I like to choose... Um, slides with my with my presentation so I'm gonna pull those up real quick for you and that way you can follow along for those of you who are visual you'll like this part and uh, my computer's always slow so I'll do another tap dance while you wait okay hopefully it's up for you now maybe not okay I I have to start off with a little bit of um, FDA compliant stuff, FDA statements, legal statements. I am not a medical professional. This information is for educational purposes only. If you are on any prescription medication or have a medical condition whatsoever, always consult your doctor or healthcare professional first. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. They are not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure disease. A decision to use or not use this information is your sole responsibility. Views expressed in this presentation apply only to Young Living Essential Oils. Knowledge is power. So when it comes to alternative health, I highly suggest you, return, you turn to resources like those found at Discover LSP and AbundantHealthForYou.com to get more information. Thankfully, you do not need to be an expert to use essential oils. You only need experience to read and educate yourself and use them. Use, use, use them. Experiment with them to find out what works best for you and your family. So next, what are essential oils? So they are um, essential oils and their Essential oil infused supplements help antioxidant support in our body. They are steam distilled or pressed from plants, from the leaves, roots, bark, stem, rinds, or seeds. They are much more concentrated and therefore much more potent than dried herbs. One drop of peppermint oil is the same as 26 cups of peppermint tea, and one drop of lemon oil is the same as 16 lemon rinds. They are the lifeblood of the plant that initiates regeneration into the cells. They support, they support the immune system of plants, and they work the same for humans. Anything that our blood does for us is what essential oil 
oils do for the plant. They can quickly penetrate the tissues of our skin and from there diffuse throughout the body and the blood and the tissues. They can affect your body at the cellular level by supporting cellular health and normal cellular regeneration and by supporting the immune system. So as you know, cell, cells are the basic building blocks of all life, so that's very important. They support our cells. They work synergistically with our bodies to support normal body processes Processes, because they are recognized by, the bodies, by our bodies as nutrients. Um, and the last thing is they oxygenate the cells. They support our body's natural detoxification processes. Um, they make cells more permeable. They defend against unwanted guests in our bodies. Some can even cross the blood-brain barrier like cedarwood, vetiver, and lavender. These oils are um, all oils are helpful for, um, so, well, as I say, certain oils are um, helpful for, for supporting different body systems. Everything from skeletal, muscular, cardiovascular, digestive, endocrine, nervous, respiratory, lymphatic, urinary, reproductive, and integumentary body systems. Okay, now this is really neat. Frequency of essential oils. Has anyone here on here heard of frequency? It is... Um, Talked about in natural health, each oil, like every living thing, carries a scientifically measurable frequency. Essential oils have the capacity to raise your body's frequency. The more you are applying essential oils on yourself and your family, the higher your body, body frequency becomes and the potential for better overall health increases. Use them often for best results. Essential oils carry it. Um, an antioxidant value called the ORAC score. ORAC stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. I don't have a slide for this one, um, which is basically the oil's capacity to inhibit free radicals. When you think of an antioxidant, what do you think of? Blueberries. You might think of blueberries. Well, clove essential oil contains the highest ORAC value at over 1 million versus blueberries at 2,400. Okay, next is history. A little bit of history. Essential oils, even though they are trendy, they are nothing new. In fact, they are the oldest form of medicine dating back to 4500 BC. They were used in religious rituals to treat illnesses. They were used in the China, Greek, and Roman empires, and even found in ancient scriptures from the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran. In fact, in the Bible, there are over 200 references to aromatics, incense, and ointments, referring to frankincense, myrrh, cinnamon, cassia, rosemary, hyssop, and spikenard, which were all used for anointing and healing the sick. Daily applications of essential oils in biblical times were extensive. 36 of the 39 books of the Old Testament and 10 of the 27 books of the New Testament mention essential oils or the plants that produce them. In 1922, when King Tut's tomb was discovered, there were many jars of oil in his tomb that could hold 122 liters of oil, all of which had been stolen, but the gold had not been. The robbers literally chose the oils over the gold, showing how valuable they were at the time. The ancient Egyptians were masters of using essential oils. Many hieroglyphics are on the walls of Egyptian temples depicting the blending of oils and describe numerous oil recipes. There are over 14,000 references to essential oils in the National Library of Medicine as well, and you can find that at pubmed.org, P-U-B-M-E-D.org. And I have one person saying they can't see. I'm going to write to you, Corey, real quick. See anything yet? All right. Let's go to the next one. So I've been using for oils, essential oils for many years now, but for most of the time, I only use them in cleaning supplies. I bought the cheapest oils I could find on Amazon and online, and they smelled nice for my homemade cleaning supplies, but didn't work when I use them for the health of me and my kids and my husband. I thought all essential oils must be quack and pretty much gave up on them for about two years. That all changed when I finally decided to stop being so stubborn and buy Young Living essential oils. I used them the very first day my premium starter kit arrived, and I was amazed at the quality, the scent, and the effectiveness. They worked right out of the box for some issues we had going on. Um, one thing that's good to know is that essential oils are not regulated by the FDA. So you have to do your own research to make sure you're buying a truly pure oil. They're not regulated because they're not considered a drug. So it's not a requirement for them to be regulated. It's not because they're unsafe at all. Their only requirement, the FDA's only requirement, is that 5% of essential oils be therapeutic grade oil for it to be called pure therapeutic grade. 5%. So there is a humongous variation in quality 
Companies are allowed to add fillers, water, even synthetic chemicals to make it smell like lavender. Lavender is one of the most adulterated oils on the market because it's the most popular. They will buy lavender oil, put 5% in lavender oil, and then load it up with all this other stuff. And they do not have to list on the bottle that they have other things in it besides oil. Young Living was founded in 1993, and, it's, and it is the oldest, most trusted essential oil company in the world. They have 21 years of research and experience, and they are the only company that has a seed to seal guarantee. Their guarantee is the heart is at their heart is at the heart of their commitment to purity and authenticity. You deserve products that are genuine, free of synthetic chem chemicals, and of unmatched purity, and that is what you get with Young Living. So they have a seed to seal process. Um, and this is their guarantee. So if you were to take an oil, one of their oils to a lab and get it tested, um, they, they would guarantee that it is genuine and free of synthetic chemicals and all that. And if for some reason it weren't, it wasn't, which that's never happened, but if it did come back that something got in it, then they would replace it for you. So Young Living uses the proper species of the seed, one that is the most robust and will yield the highest potency. This is very important for making a high quality oil that works. Next is cultivation. All the plants are organically grown beyond certified organic standards, which means that they compost all of the plant material. They have total sustainable farming. Nothing harms the local environments. No pesticides or herbicides are used. The weed control is literally done by hand. The pesticides and herbicides come from leftover essential oils that didn't make the, um, the cut in the labs. Um, and the only reason they don't make the cut in the labs when they're testing them, which we get to that in a minute, so I'll skip that part. Um, so this is perhaps the most important of all and something a lot of companies skip. The plants are harvested at the appropriate time of year when they are fully mature and contain the most constituents. Um, the constituents of essential oils are what make it powerful or what make it work. So when you um, are dealing with a lot of the other companies, um, and this is, goes into the next part, they, dis, um, they distill their oils. Um, it's, it's a process of steam distillation. So like when you steam your broccoli or steam your vegetables, um, it's the same kind of process. They, um, let's say my comment didn't go through. <clears throat> many, many other companies, um, will distill their oils really fast at a high temperature. And if any of you, you know, steam your vegetables, you know that completely uh, destroys the vitamins and nutrients in your vegetables. You basically just have like fiber and carbs left over. So you have to um, cook your food at a low temperature just like you have to do essential oils. Um, so it's very important that they cook it at a low temperature, that they harvest it at the right time of the year, because if you harvest it at a time of the year when the plant is not fully mature, it's going to be a much weaker plant, like having a preemie, like a newborn baby. If it's born early, they have to keep it in NICU to keep it strong, right? Because it cannot survive on its own. Same thing with plants. Um, you got to harvest them at the right period of time in order to, for them to be the most powerful and to actually work. That's why I use so many other oils from other companies having no idea that the reason they weren't working is because they weren't potent. They were not harvested at the right time. They were being distilled at very high temperatures. Um, they had no power, and they might have been full of synthetic ingredients anyway. So Young Living also distills their oils only one time. It's called First distillation. Many other companies distill the same plant matter, you know, they run it back through this, the distiller two, three, and four times. So that means you're going to get a much more watered down product, much weaker product. Um, Young Living uses its own internal labs. You have eight different tests they run on their oils in addition to third party, party audits. If you want information on that, I can send that to you too. They verify um, that international purity and potency standards are met and surpassed. And then they are all bottled in um, our manufacturing, our bottling plants in um, Spanish Fork, Utah, and shipped worldwide. So it's even an American run and owned company. Um, next is how, we, how do we use our oil? So the first way I'm going to discuss is aromatic usage. So there's an important note I need to share with you about the FDA. They require Young Living and all essential oil companies to labor their oils as either dietary or cosmetic. Two different uses. When the fact of the matter is, most of the oils can be used for both. But they cannot label the bottles that way. So Young Living had to choose the primary usage for each oil so that they can be used in, in many different um, 
since they can be used in so many different ways. So Young Living follows the French model of essential oil usage. You might want to Google that. There's a British model and a French model because of the high quality of our, of our essential oils. French model indicates that you can take essential oils internally. British, they only use them topically and aromatically. If in doubt about how to use an essential oil, it's great to start with the primary usage on the label and then go from there as you see fit for your family. So fragrance is the substance of memories. Have you ever, have you ever heard that before? Um, research shows that when inhaling the pure constituents of essential oils, um, it can stimulate the olfactory receptors and activate regions in the brain's limbic system associated with memory, emotion, and state of mind. This is the brain's center of emotion and memory. Hence, in less than a second, a scent has the power to activate a number of physical and emotional responses in just 22 seconds, which is the time it takes for an oil to reach the brain when inhaled. Essential oils can be your key to a more fulfilling and balanced emotional life. To help you rediscover peace, balance, and joy, use these essential oils and blends for diffusing, um, soothing baths, massage, inhalation, or topical application. You can smell directly from the bottle. I love to do that personally when I need some emotional balance or respiratory support. Uh, um, it's also great, like you see the lady in the picture, She, um, you put two, like a drop or two of oils in your hands and then Co um, cup your mouth with your hands and breathe in deeply. It's oh, it's a wonderful experience. You really should try it. Opens up the respiratory system, clears out everything, clears your head. Oh, it just feels wonderful. It'll help balance your emotions at the same time, reduce stress. Um, and you can also diffuse, like you see that picture with the essential oil diffuser. That's the Aria diffuser Young Living has. <clears throat> it purifies the air, makes your home smell wonderful without chemicals. Um, that's one thing you really need to know, um, like the Glade plugins, anything with Febreze, um, any kind of um, like Bed Bath & Beyond candles, Scentsy candles and burners and all that, all of those are emitting VOCs into the air. They um, have very toxic chemicals in them. Um, they are now saying um, it is the... Um, the government and several other places, I'm trying to think of the name of it, my brain was, just went blank, um, but there, there is a... Um, an, uh, um, a group that is saying that essential uh, that all these harmful chemicals in artificial fragrances are um, like secondhand smoke. They're the new secondhand smoke. Um, they're very dangerous for our respiratory systems, our brains, um, everything. Very high in chemicals. So um, this is a fantastic way to replace those toxic chemicals and make your house smell amazing while supporting your immune system and your respiratory system at the same time. You definitely can't say that about Bed Bath & Beyond candles. All they do is make things smell good and then aggravate your asthma and your allergies and fog up your brain, but not essential oils. Okay, so because of their molecular structure, essential oils are rapidly absorbed by the skin. So we're now we're going to talk, talk about topical usage. Sometimes when you apply an oil to the skin, also it almost seems to disappear into the body. Um, and when applied topically, it takes two to three minutes for an oil to reach the bloodstream, 20, 20 minutes to affect every cell in the body, and then it's metabolized within two and a half hours. It's not rocket science. You apply oil to the area where you want to provide support. Some favorite places are the wrists, behind the ears, neck, temples, stomach, and especially the feet. Quick absorption and... Um, is on the bottom of your feet. There's quick absorption, and the skin is tough there, so it can really handle essential oils. So you may have, may have heard of reflexology. Has anyone heard of reflexology? You can use this the reflexology concepts when applying essential oils to your feet, and that's this chart you see, the Vitaflex foot chart. Um, important note, you do need to know that there are some photosensitive oils, and those are the citrus oils. Be sure to apply where the sun doesn't shine so you don't get a sunburn. Diluting. Oh, um, dilute your essential oils with Young Living's V6 Vegetable Complex. That's their carrier oil in your palm. Or you can put it in a roll-on bottle. I suggest starting out with diluting, especially those with sensitive skin and children and who are new to essential oils. Do not ever use oils in the eyes or ears. If it does get in one of these areas, put a dab of uh, carrier oil on it, and it will cut this, the essential oil and take away the burn in seconds. Okay, so here's proper topical dilution. This is the advice, this is the question I um, used to get all the time when I was first starting out. How do I actually dilute my oils? Now, all blog, they're also on Pinterest, um, 
with the the script with with what I'm telling you now um, you know I, I, I have created a blog post it's um, called discover essential oils. So if you go to my blog or just type in Google my merry messy life plus discover essential oils you will find this post and so I don't want you to feel like you have to frantically write down all this information you see right here um, you can find that online so this is how you properly dilute your oils It's pretty self-explanatory Let's go to the next one. Um, internal usage. If the oil bottle label indicates it can be used as a dietary supplement, then it is safe to take internally. You can add oils to food for flavor. You just need a drop or two, like lemon, basil, oregano, thyme. You can also put a drop of lemon in your water. I do that every morning. Um, makes my water taste delicious. It's healthy and good for the liver. It's good for the kidneys. Um, or dilute in coconut oil and add to herbal tea. You can put them in enteric coated gelatin capsules. It doesn't dissolve until it's in the intestines, which is safer. Um, Young Living sells these capsules as well. And it's not recommended for children. It's also not necessary because children respond so well to essential oils. Their, their bodies are less full of toxins and less gunked up, right? So they, they, will, um, they will take to oils um, aromatically and topically very well. You can dilute them in water, juice, honey, coconut oil, olive oil, any kind of carrier oil. You can also dilute them in Nietzsche Red, which is a supplement Young Living has. And um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so basic essential oil safety. Essential oils are potent gifts from nature that can often be more powerful than expected. Now, when you're first starting out, you can um, overuse them. So if your body is, if you haven't been doing a lot of things with natural health, like if you're not used to, um, you know, if you've already done some detox programs, if you have detoxed your body, if you exercise a lot and sweat a lot, that's great for detoxification. Um, so your body might be getting regularly cleaned out. That's why exercise is so good for you. One of the reasons. Um, or if you're, you know, into natural living and you've been doing like the Master Lemonade Cleanse, I do that one several times a year. Um, or other detoxification programs, you might come into using essential oils and be able to use a good bit right away because your body is cleaned out. Um, if you're coming from a more conventional way of living, um, you're going to find that the essential oils are going to be really strong for you right at first, and you're going to have to let your body acclimate to them because what it does is it is a natural, it naturally detoxes your body, naturally cleans it out. So if you put on too much at one time or use too many, um, at first, your body might have a reaction such as a rash, headache, nausea, those kind of things. It's not actually hurting your body. It's just quickly detoxing. So um, in order to just be more comfortable, then you would just use less. So you would just back off for a few hours and then use less on your next application. Let your body get used to it. So do not put essential oils directly in your eyes or ear canal. It will burn. If an essential oil gets in your eye, put milk or carrier oil around the eye for relief. Do not use water as oil and water don't mix. If an essential oil feel, feels hot to the skin, immediately apply a carrier oil in the area for relief. Um, if a rash occurs at any time after application of an oil, refrain from applying topically, like I said, for a few hours and start back slowly with the dilution of a carrier oil. Pregnant women, epileptics, and those with high blood pressure should make sure you read um, up in the guidebooks and stuff that we give you um, as there's oils you will want to avoid. And um, like I said, there is a lot of documentation from doctors on that that we, that we provide when you join our team. Um, essential oils are not recommended orally or topically for anyone going chemo or radiation. Um, inhaling the oils for relaxation purposes, emotional purposes, or occasional nausea occasional nausea is okay for doctor approves. Um, sometimes they can react with those medications. Let's see. And then I talked about the photosensitive oils already. And, you know, always just check with a professional if you feel like you should. But honestly, these oils, essential oils are so much different than um, conventional medicine because they work synergistically with your body. They are holistic. They, um, you know, because they're coming from the pure plant, they just re your body responds to them so much differently. So, I don't want you ever to feel there's a lot of blogs, a lot of a lot of stuff on the internet that could scare you away from even using them all together. And I really caution against that stuff. A lot of those people are not experts or even know what they're talking about. So make sure you know your source and 
Um, honestly, I suggest books because they're not going to have a lot of hype in them like a blog would. And I'm a blogger, so I can even say that. Okay, so we're going to talk about these top 10 oils. Is that 10 in the picture? Maybe 11. There's 11 oils in the picture. Um, so we're going to talk about these 11 oils. Um, I really suggest starting off with 10 or 11 oils, especially if you have a family, because each oil is powerful for different things. So if you start off with just using one oil, you only be able to help with one area of your life. Whereas when you start off with all 10 of them, you can really use them on a daily basis and you're going to find a lot. You'll, your health will improve much more quickly. You will feel better faster, that kind of thing. So, um, and one thing you're going to notice is uh, all of the oils are good for many different things and their uses overlap. So, for instance, lavender and stress away are both good for relaxation, for calming. But stress away may not make you feel calm and lavender absolutely does a trick. But for, say, your child, stress away may be um, their magical oil for helping them calm down, um, and, but not lavender. Lavender might hype them up. So. Every, every person's body chemistry responds to the essential oils in different ways. So you're going to need 10 or 11 oils just to um, practice, just to experiment and figure out which oils work for what. Okay, so we'll, I'm going to go through these real quick because I know it's a lot of information. I don't want to overload you too much. So lavender. Lavender assists the body when adapting to occasional stress. It relaxes and calms for restful sleep. It soothes, soothes and cleanses healthy skin. It's the most versatile of all essential oils you can diffuse for a relaxing environment. That's my go-to uh, oil. It is called the Swiss Army Knife of Essential Oils because it is useful for so many different things. Uh, fun fact, it takes 170 pounds of lavender plant material for one pound of lavender oil. That's how concentrated this stuff is. Um, I have actually been to Young Living's Lavender Farm, one of them. They have several um, in Mona, Utah. It was an amazing experience. In fact, anyone can go there if you're ever near Salt Lake City. Um, Mona, Utah is an hour outside of Salt Lake City. So the public is open to the public. You can go to their farms and you can see the entire process for your own eyes, with your own eyes, to see for yourself that it's pure and just as they say it is. Okay. Lemon oil. It uplifts the mind and body. It contains naturally occurring D-limonene. I suggest Googling that. That's one of those constituents. I can't really tell you much about it, FDA stuff, but you can look it up. Great for healthy skin. Add to recipes to enhance the flavor. Add to water for a delicious, refreshing drink. Be sure to use glass or stainless steel. Lemon supports the digestive system and liver to help the body cleanse itself. It's, important, it's an important ingredient in natural cosmetics that may be useful for cleansing the skin and reducing the appearance of wrinkles. Um, it takes about 3,000 lemons to produce one kilo of essential oil. Crazy, right? And they use the rinds. Um, the part that is acidic that can bother your digestive system or your teeth is the um, pulp, the inside of the lemon. But when they make the essential oil, they actually use the rind. So you don't have to worry about acidity on your teeth. Isn't that awesome? I love to use this one for cleaning. And I also just use it in my water every single day. I love it. Okay, peppermint. This is probably my most favorite essential oil, one of them, besides Idaho black spruce. That's my new fave. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, um, Northern Lights black spruce. Um, so it is, this is one of my most favorite oils, though. It puts me in such a peppy mood. I just love the scent. Um, when I've had a bad day and I'm gone somewhere, sometimes my husband will put peppermint in the diffuser and just fill our bedroom with peppermint because he knows it'll just make me happy. <laughs> he knows me well. It really does. It makes me so happy. I love this oil. It has a, an invigorating and fresh minty aroma, as you would imagine. Um, it's amazing. It is a very versatile oil, widely studied for its potential health benefits and its ability to enhance mental acuity. There's a lot of tests. You can Google that. A lot of um, tests and studies that have been done on peppermint and concentration and focus. It is known for its impressive support of digestive functions. So it's highly regarded, regarded for soothing digestion. It supports the respiratory system. It promotes healthy intestinal function. It may improve concentration and mental sharpness. It helps curb appetite. Did you hear that? 
curbs appetite. Awesome, right? It enhances the flavor of food and water. It can make a great cooling spray for summer or for times of warm skin. When your skin is warm, like when you're outside, like if you're a really hot festival or something like that. Frankincense. Frankincense is considered the holy anointing oil in the Middle East and has been used in religious ceremonies for thousands of years. We like to say, it's kind of a little saying on our team, if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for us, right? Frankincense was valued more than gold during ancient times, and only those with great wealth and abundance possessed frankincense. The ancient Chinese even used it, and they used it to support overall health. Frankincense occur, includes the naturally occurring constituent boswellic acid. So I would suggest Googling that. It also contains alpha pinene, which you see in the slide. Research shows that when inhaling the pure constituents of these oils, it helps to stimulate the olfactory receptors and activate the regions of the brain in the limbic system of the brain associated with memory, emotion, and state of mind. Frankincense is one of those oils that really affects your limbic system. Oh, so it is really wonderful for emotional calm, for um, helping with occasional stress. It's very common and relaxing. We suggest diffusing it for um, emotional well-being. I like to put two drops of uh, frankincense in my palms and cup it over my mouth and breathe in deeply. It's most wonderful. Used for massage after activity or exercise. It may help smooth the appearance of he healthy looking skin. So put it in your facial lotions, facial creams, um, any kind of tonic for your face, any kind of face wash. So good for the skin. Um, and it's great for supporting the respiratory system, especially in children. Frankincense and lavender both are very good for the respiratory, um, are very good for children, and so is lemon. They're all safe for babies and children, lemon, all the ones we've talked about, lemon, lavender, and frankincense. Okay, purification. This is a really neat oil. It contains, it's a blend. It contains citronella, lemongrass, lavandin, rosemary, tea tree, and myrtle essential oils. You can just direct, use directly on your skin to cleanse and soothe. It's a great thing to have like a first aid kit. Diffuse to help purify and cleanse the air from environment, environmental impurities and other disagreeable odors. So say you just painted your whole house. Um, even with low VOC paint, it still emits VOCs and has some stanky smells. Um, I know it's given me a headache before. So you could diffuse purification like nonstop for a couple of days just to help um, cut through that VOC emission and um, help your respiratory system. It cleanses and soothes common skin irritations. You can apply it topically to enjoy the outdoors annoyance free. Hopefully you understand what that means. <laughs> wink, wink, right? Thieves. Oh my gosh. This is what Young Living is most known for. It's our most popular blend ever. It includes clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. It is inspired by the legend of four 15th century French thieves who formulated a special aromatic combination composed of clove, rosemary, and other botanicals they used while robbing the dead and dying. In exchange for more lenient punishment, they shared how they had stayed alive and not gotten sick. Thieves Essential Oil Blend is highly regarded for its ability to support the immune system. So this is my go-to oil, still is today, for supporting the immune system. It is a hot oil because it's got clove and cinnamon in it. So I apply neat to the bottoms of my feet, meat means without dilution to the bottoms of my feet. I find it works better and faster that way. And I also um, dilute it to apply to my children. Again, to me. Um, it includes eucalyptus, which may help maintain a healthy respiratory system. Thieves is an ideal complement to your daily wellness regimen, especially during winter months. So you can support your immune system all winter long by applying this daily. In fact, I suggest applying it morning and night, especially if you have a child whose immune system needs um, more support than normal. It's amazing for cleaning your home. It supports oral health. You can take a spoonful, um, take it in a spoonful of honey, drop it into the back of your throat or press to the roof of your mouth. And next, next we're going to talk about um, Thieves is so popular that there's an entire cleaning line based upon it. So have exceptional cleaning power, the power of Thieves and essential oils. 
I have tried all these products and I absolutely love them. Um, so all of these products are naturally derived. They're plant-based ingredients for a safer way to clean your and purify your home. They're non-toxic. Um, my children, like my my five-year-old son, well, he's six. I keep saying five because I keep forgetting he's six, right? You forget how old your kids are because you think of them as babies. Um, but my oldest child, I have three kids, ages six, four, and two. They're all boys. And my six-year-old, he loves to clean because I give him like a dollar for each toy he does, and he earns up money for toys. So he uses Thieves Household Cleaner, and I love being able to give him cleaners that I know are not going to be toxic for him. It doesn't eat up on the skin on our hands like a lot of other cleaners do. So this can be used on many services, including fabrics, upholstery, carpet, floors, walls, dishes, and more. It's safe to use around every member of your family, like I said, including children and pets. So I clean my whole house with the Thieves Household Cleaner. I use the foaming hand soap in all my bathrooms. I have the Thieves Spray. I take that with me in my purse all the time. Sometimes I spray it in my throat. I'm a singer, too, so I um, sometimes need to cut through some gunk in my throat, and I'll spray Thieves Spray. It really helps. <clears throat> um, and there's also Thieves Wipes, which, oh, my goodness, those things smell so good. They're great for bringing, like, if you're going traveling, going to a hotel, um, and some weird gas station bathrooms. Thieves wipes are excellent for keeping everything nice and clean. Okay, pan away. This is a blend of four oils, wintergreen, clove, helichrysum, and peppermint. So apply topically following activity like exercise, gardening, anything that's been strenuous. It soothes the skin while promoting, providing comforting warmth to muscles after exercise. It really is amazing. Like you'll feel, it'll feel cool um, right after you apply it. And then it turns warm because it increases blood flow to the area. Massage into the bottoms of your feet for a relaxing experience. Um, Helichrysum essential oil in this blend can be used to soothe overworked muscles and defend against harmful free radicals. Wintergreen essential oils, soothing, calming properties, and clean, refreshing scent help relax skin and muscles and are often used in massage and clove stimulates and revitalizes overall body functions. This is an amazing blend, definitely one of the most popular out of the kit. I love that when I apply it to my skin, it feels like a heating pad, but it cools at the same time. It's so soothing, especially after a long day of being mama. And if I go garden outside with my kids and then, you know, still being mom all day, boy, do I need some muscular support at night. Okay, Digize. This contains ginger, anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, lemongrass, patchouli, lemon, I already said lemongrass, and ju juniper. It supports normal digestion. This is my go-to oil for digestion. Uh, so is peppermint. You can add it to a gel capsule and take internally. Um, you can use it along with every meal. Um, and in, even it even helps to use enzymes like essential enzymes to support a healthy re wellness regimen. My son and I have to take um, enzymes with every single meal. Um, our digestive systems need a lot of extra support. Um, so, because I have a lot of food sensitivities. So, I highly recommend this one for those of you who have food sensitivities as well. Copaiba. This is a really neat oil. It's very woodsy smelling. I, li I like the smell of it. I think it's similar to cedar wood. Um, it's traditionally used to aid in digestion. It promotes wellness. It supports the, natter the body's natural response to injury or irritation. So, it's great you know, when you have an injury. Um, it may be an important part of a daily health regimen. So and what they mean by that is cryptic. We have to be cryptic. <laughs> you can blame the FDA for that. Um, but what we mean by that, that it supports a daily health regimen, is that you could, it would be excellent for your health. It will help keep you strong if you take it every day. So apply it topically every day, say, with whatever o o other oil you're using. It's said to boost the... Um, properties of other essential oils as well. It's like a booster. Okay, RC. This one stands for respiratory congestion. It contains three varieties of eucalyptus, which is excellent for the respiratory system. Dilute and apply to the chest, neck, and throat areas as needed. I do that all the time when we need respiratory support. I rub on the back of the feet or chest before exercise to uplift, brighten your mind, help your body get ready for a tough workout. Diffuse at bedtime to encourage an atmosphere of comfort it is also just great for the um, respiratory system. I have survived the spring with this oil. 
so many new things growing outside. All right, last oil we're going to talk about. Y'all still hanging in there with me, having a good time? Last oil we're going to talk about is Stress Away. This is a blend of Copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, ocotea, and lavender. I love this oil. This was the oil that made me fall in love with Young Living, decide to stick with Young Living. It smells incredible to me. It promotes wellness. It helps reduce mental rigidity and restore emotional equilibrium. It's used to combat normal stresses that creep into everyday life. It helps encourage relaxation. It can help induce relaxation and reduce occasional nervous tension. So my um, one of my sons responds very well to stress away. And I give this one to him. Um, like I'll, I'll diffuse it at night. Um, it's, it's his oil that really helps him go to sleep at night, helps him have a, a good night's sleep. There's other oils for kids, too, for that. There's one called Sleepy Eyes, and it's a blend that's already diluted. Man, that one smells really good, too. It's a great one. So these are flex oils. Um, in order to meet the demand and not sacrifice quality and customer commitment and to get your, uh, your kits to you faster, Young Living may replace one of the oils that I just talked about with one of these five oils, lemon, orange, lemongrass, citrus fresh, aroma ease, or tea tree. I love all of these oils. So really, you just can't go wrong. Um, with any of these oils. Okay, so next I want to talk to you about the Primo Starter Kit. Um, I want to share with you how you can get these oils because they are not sold down at your local Whole Foods store, your corner Walgreens, and um, they are, the like I said, the oils sold there are much less potent and some are even adulterated and messed up. Um, Young Living's oils are very, very high quality. And the way that Young Living has decided to sell them is through individual members sharing with other members. They don't pay for an advertising department and use us instead for the primary reason of being able to offer you support. Because there's a high learning curve with essential oils and many people feel overwhelmed, so much so that they don't even want to try to get started, which is such a shame because so many people are seeing amazing, amazing results in their health with essential oils, with Young Living essential oils. So when you buy the oils in store online from just anywhere, you won't get a team of support helping you learn how to use the oils. And especially when you join my team, we offer monthly Facebook classes, webinars, promotions, giveaways, and blog posts. So you are always learning. I have a ton of posts on my blog about um, how to use different essential oils. You can purchase the oils we just discussed for $163, and um, that would be the retail price. No sale or discount, but there's a much cheaper way to get them, and that's as a wholesale member. So I'm going to get off the slides real quick and show you. We'll get back to the video. So I can actually show you these in person. In person. Let's see. I think it's, it's still thinking about how to turn the camera around. <laughs> Computer, work, work. So, hi, I'm back. I hope you all having a good time. Okay, I want to show you the um, starter kit. So, they, these are the top 10 oils that we just talked about. So, you have Dai Jai's, Lemon Frankincense, Peppermint Thieves, Anaway, Kobaiba, RC, Purification Lavender. We talked about all of those. So, they come in these nice little 5 milliliter bottles. There are, there are 75, 75 drops, drops in 5 milliliter bottles, and, and surprisingly, surprisingly, they last, they last a long, long time. time. This kit this can last, can last you several months. months. I'm going to show you what, show else, you what else comes in the kit. So you can get, you can get just, just those oils, oils by themselves for $163, and that's full, and that's full retail, retail price. price. But it's much it's smarter, much smarter and you save a lot, lot more money by choosing, by choosing to get the starter kit. The reason is, reason is you get those oils, plus the oils, plus the diffuser, 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 or you can get the, one, can get the one next to me. That's the bamboo, that's the bamboo, bamboo aroma, aroma, or bamboo. bamboo. This is the did drop. Did drop. Um, um, you can get that, get that, plus everything that's in the starter, starter, starter kit. kit. For $160. This actually is cheaper to get the starter kit than it is to buy in by in oils individually. For instance, frankincense and Hanaway by themselves will cost you, and the 5 milliliter size will cost you $90. So by the time you buy five bottles of oil and a diffuser, you've paid for the price for your kit. So it just makes so, it makes so much so more, sense. more sense. So, so if you bought all, all the items individually, individually they would cost they would you about three hundred fifty dollars, something, like something like that. So you're literally so you're getting literally this getting for almost half the price by getting the starter kit. So I highly recommend the starter kit. And like I said, you need ten and um, to eleven essential oils to really get started. You'll be equipped for um, probably the entirety of the winter season. 
Okay, so this is what is in your starter kit. Hope you guys can see this. So we have, um, this is a nice little box, and the oils come on top of it, the ones you see behind me. So that's what's inside of here. So you always, you also get all these little samples. You get um, Nisha Red, which is um, Young Living's most popular supplement. It tastes like juice. It's delicious. And it helps support the digestive system and um, cognitive function. It helps, supports eye health. I mean, you name it, N Nisha Red will support it. It's amazing stuff. It comes from um, China. From Ninja China. That's where it gets the name Ninja Red. I'm sorry, my stuff is just falling apart today. There we go. Okay, so next you get these little dram bottles. If you can see those, um, but those are little bottles that you can put your essential oils in and carry them around with you or hand them out, pass them out to friends if you want. You also get these little cards, which are great for sharing the essential oils because on the inside it has all this information about how to use the essential oils. And then you get these little samples that you can keep for yourself, throw in your purse, or give to your friends and family. And this is where the extra stress away comes in. So you get 11 essential oils. You also get um, a roll-on top, which I'll show you in my own collection what those look like. And my stuff is falling out. But up here in your starter kit, you get all this information that's in this little pocket. So when you get your starter kit, make sure you pull out that information so it doesn't just sit in there because it gives you the information on exactly how to use your oils. There's a whole little pamphlet, and it, sh it tells you how to use them and what they're for, um, plus a lot of other information. So make sure you read the information in that little pocket. Um, the other thing, and I'll show you this. Thank you for your patience. I'm a one-woman show. Maybe I'll do, uh, as I keep saying, I do a tap dance. Maybe we'll do a tap dance now or sing a little song or something. Okay, so this is a metal roll on top. See that? It's a roll on. So what I do with it is like, let's just say I need to roll it on my hand or something. You roll it on like this. I have diluted this. I've made my own blend. So this bottle became empty. I used it all up. So I filled it with my own blend. This is Melrose. Young Living has about 120 or 125 oils now. Oils and blends. So um, this is one of them. This is great for the skin. I love this oil. It has rosemary in it and several others. Um, so I diluted it with some carrier oil, and now I've got, got it ready to roll on. I've also got um, lavender, lemon, and peppermint in here. So you can buy these metal roll-on caps from Young Living. And that way they, like I rub this one on the back of my neck and on my um, jawline, sometimes my sinuses. It's really good for the respiratory system. Um, Young Living also sells roll-on roll-ons themselves, all by themselves. There's Breathe Again, Deep Relief, Tranquil, Stress Away, a Valor Roll-on, and probably one or two more that I missed. Rudavala, um, I believe is what it's called, Rudavala. And um, anyway, these are great. They're already diluted. They're 50% essential oils, so they're high potency. Um, so this one's Breathe Again. So this one has lots of eucalyptus in it. Excellent for this time of year coming up with it when everybody is having trouble with their noses and their throats and everything. Um, and then lastly, I just want to talk to you. Um, I want to show you there are actually five different um, kits you can purchase because it depends. Um, there's five different uh, there's four different diffusers and then two other kinds of kits. So I'm going to show you these different kits right now um, on my slides. Let me pull these up for you real fast. So I hope you can see it now. Okay, so you're going to see that there's the premium kit with the dewdrop diffuser. That's the one you saw behind me. The home diffuser has now been out. I'm, I don't have a new picture for that one, but the new diffuser you have for this one is called the Rainstone. It's a $210 kit. The Rainstone is a very fancy diffuser. And I would call it um, like um, maybe like a Lexus. Okay, it's starting to become luxury. A luxury diffuser is very, very nice. Um, this is the bamboo diffuser. I absolutely love the bamboo diffuser. It works very well. And um, it's a very popular diffuser. And it's a little bit higher quality than a dewdrop. So for $10 more, you get a little higher quality. And then the Mac Daddy of all diffusers, like your uh, Maserati of diffusers. If there's any car people in here, you like this. Um, 
the Aria diffuser is awesome. It's, I mean, it is special. It is, it is very, very nice. If you're looking to buy yourself a Christmas present, this would be the kit to get. Um, you can also get a Thieves starter kit. So all those Thieves products we talked about are in this set. And then the Ninja Red, if you're needing, oh, I apologize, my silly mouse. If you're needing a lot of um, just overall support for your entire body, you might actually start with Ninja Red first. Start off with the Ninja Red kit and then get um, a, a, a premium kit with essential oils or just start buying essential oils individually. So what happens when you buy a member, buy as a member, you get 24% off of everything for an entire year. There are no strings attached. So if you choose to never buy anything the rest of the year, that's totally fine. No one's going to hunt you down. You're not going to get any penalty fees. And if after that first year, if you've bought nothing and you just don't want to keep buying, that's fine too. You, nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Maybe you might have a dream about me or something where I come to you in your dream and tell you, please, you really want to keep buying essential oils because they're so amazing. Other than that, other than maybe like, maybe like a little scary dream for me, you're not going to be hunted down by anyone. So there's no strings attached if you become a member. And all you do to become a member is buy one of the starter kits. There's no membership fee whatsoever. You're only buying product. With a lot of other companies, even Costco, you pay a fee that doesn't go towards product at all. So this is like a Costco membership, but way better. Or a Sam's membership, but way better because you're actually getting product for your membership fee. Um, and plus, when you join as a member, you're joining my team. So you're on my team of support. Um, you can ask me any question you want by email, by Facebook message. I have a Facebook group you can join. And I help you a lot in that Facebook group. There's, um, I have other leaders on my team who help too. So there's a lot of us who are contributing. Um, and um, when you join my team, you get these um, welcome gifts. You get an Amazon, $15 Amazon gift card, um, $20 in reference materials. And I'll give you oil, oil bottle cap labels. But this is a referral business. So you need to contact the person who refer, referred you to this. Uh, it's not about how awesome their starter kit goodies are. It's about the support you're going to get from the person you're connected to. And that, that's the most important thing. So, Essential Rewards. This is Young Living's optional auto ship program where you can learn, you can earn store credit to get free oils and products. So um, this is something you can look into. If you think you're going to be buying oils on a regular basis, you can do this right away, which gives you a lot of benefits. Um, or you can just, you know, get used to your oils. I don't want you to feel pressure to go crazy. But um, get used to your oils and then um, sign up for essential oil rewards in like, you know, month two, month three. Like once you get into this, in, into um, using them, understand how you want to use them for yourself and your family. But um, <clears throat> you commit to buying 50 PV a month. It's a commitment. It's not a contract. You're not, you don't sign any contracts. So if you, um, after a few months are like, gosh, I don't want to do this anymore. All you gotta do is call young living and cancel it. It goes away. Nothing happens. So you can change your products and shipping date every month. When you sign up as a member, they make it look like you can't change your products, but you can every single month. You can change what you, what you purpose purchase. Okay. Like I said, there's no contract. Um, there's cheaper shipping. The, the benefit of doing this, the whole point of it, is it's like Kohl's cash. Um, it's cheaper shipping. It's priority on low stock items, and you earn points with every purchase towards free that you can use towards free oil, oils. So you earn store credit. So months one through six, you get 10% back. Seven to 12, 15% back, percent back. 13 months and beyond, 20% back. I uh, have been with the company a year and a half, so I get 20% back in points. I literally get like 150 points a month. Um, I do purchase a lot of product because I have replaced my shampoo, my body wash, my soaps, toothpaste, my kids' toothpaste, um, let's see, mouthwash, supplements, vitamins, um, and even dietary stuff. Like they even sell like... um. They even have uh, um, granola bars and things like that that are gluten-free. I have to eat a strict gluten-free diet. Um, so, I mean, Young Living just sells all kinds of things. And I have replaced so many of these things in my life with Young Living products because I get so many points back. So I get tons of free stuff every month too. So it's fantastic. So I, I run to the health food store, to Whole Foods, 
way less than I used to because I get all in one place. So for me, it's just ease of use and convenience, especially being a mom of three. I don't want to be spending time running all over the town because in my area, um, good healthy health food stores and stuff like that are not very close. So I love the Essential Rewards program. So um, I'm so excited you came um, to my webinar tonight. Thank you for being here. And um, that is pretty much covers it. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, you can leave the webinar and go straight to my blog, like I said, and type in Discover Essential Oils or Google My Merry Messy Life plus Discover Essential Oils. And you will find my post that has all of these slides, all the information that I just shared with you under those slides. So you don't have to like memorize it all at once or try to figure it out. And it will already have a video there as well. So um, you can learn slowly at your own pace over time. So thank you so much for being here tonight. And I hope and pray that you make the decision to dive into essential oils and natural health. I know you will not be disappointed. It is a, an amazing life to lead, an amazing lifestyle, I should say, an amazing lifestyle to lead where you just you feel really good. You wake up in the morning feeling good. You stay strong even when others around you aren't especially during the winter months and holidays. Um, so this is a great time of year to get started so you can stay healthy through the holidays and actually enjoy them with your friends and family. So thank you for being here. If you have any questions, you can hop over to my Facebook page and ask there or email me at Sarah, S-A-R-A, at mymerrymessylife.com. Thank you and have a great evening. Talk to you soon.